Hi, welcome. This is the responsive slideshow tutorial and we're going to get started here. We're, um, we are starting with where we left off last time with this project. So let's take a look at our file. And what we have here is we have our um, responsive website and we have added in from a previous tutorial this responsive navigation. So the next thing that we want to do here is um, on this prototype where it says slideshow we want to add a responsive slideshow and we're going to do that um, using jQuery. So the um, jQuery that we're going to use for this tutorial is located here. It's called responsive slides and uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, we are going to go ahead and download the file for this. And if we scroll down towards the bottom, uh, there's a actually a link here where it says uh, you can download the latest version of this demo from GitHub. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you go to the GitHub page. Um, there is an option here where it says you can download the zip. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and download, download this to my desktop. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And a um, couple things to remember about integrating jQuery into your project. There are three things that are involved. Um, one is HTML, so we're going to need to go in and um, change the HTML on the page. We're also going to need to add a CSS file to this and um, also some JavaScript files. Okay, so make sure that your file organization is set up correctly. So we've got two uh, folders. We have our final web folder and our source file folder. Inside of our final web folder we have the HTML file that we're working with, the index.html. We have our images folder, um, we've got our CSS, and we have our JavaScript folder. Okay, so a couple things to note. Um, first of all, we've created some images for our slideshow, and I've called them feature 12345.jpg, and these are the um, images we're going to use for our slideshow. So I do need to make sure that those are in my images folder. So I'm going to go ahead and move those into my images folder right now. Okay. Now I downloaded the... Um, zip file from GitHub, okay, and I'm going to just go ahead and put that in my source file folder because I do want to keep a copy of that. And if I open it, uh, notice that I've got some JavaScript files here and, um, you know, I have my demo, okay. So, now what's great about um, the JavaScript plugin that we're going to use is that the author was very good about making lots of notes of how to integrate this. So um, I'm going to actually just follow the notes uh, that he has outlined here. So uh, the first one is to go ahead and link your uh, JavaScript files. So notice that number one um, under usage it says to link these files. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go back to my um, file that I'm working on and notice that I already have a couple JavaScript files linked to my HTML. Those are from the flexible navigation or the responsive navigation that I added in a previous tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and um, add the two additional scripts for my responsive slideshow. And notice that um, I've got Two I've got two scripts here that are very similar. And what I'm going to do in, is I'm actually going to delete this 1.82 jQuery link. And this is for the responsive slideshow, but I actually know from um, building this page before that I'm going to have a conflict. I can't have a link to two um, different versions of jQuery without having a conflict. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one. 
Okay, so you just want to make sure you don't have any conflicts. So now I've got the link to just this one version, and I know I actually need this version for my um, responsive navigation to work. Um, but this 1.7.1 version also will work with my slideshow. Okay. Okay, so now another thing to notice is um, I need to make sure that this responsive.min.js is added to my JavaScript folder, okay? Because um, I'm going to make sure that I'm um, that I'm linking it so that the browser is going to look for this JavaScript file in my JS folder in my JavaScript folder. So um, since that is the way that I have linked it in the head of my HTML, I need to make sure that I have placed that file in my folder structure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it is this file right here, and I'm just going to make sure that I go ahead and copy that over to my JavaScript folder. Okay. So now everything that is um, a link in the head of my HTML is located in my JS folder. Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, next step. Um, I'm going to uh, also um, need to add some markup to my um, HTML, and this markup is what's going to create my slideshow. So notice that my slideshow is done with this unordered list. So I'm going to go ahead, I copied that, I'm going to go back to my HTML and my slideshow is currently just an image, okay? So my slideshow right now, because it's just a prototype, is created using this slideshow large uh, GIF. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and inside of here, I'm going to paste in my code um, for my unordered list. Okay, and I'm just going to make this format it a little bit better. It doesn't really matter to the browser, but it it matters to me, so I'm going to change this. And I need to change my image source because my images, oops, are in my images folder, and I've named them feature one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to go ahead and, and change my HTML here. Oops. And I've got five images, so I'm going to add a couple more. Okay, so that's um, what I need to change with my HTML. I need to add this unordered list. Okay, so let's go back to our instructions. Um, I also need to add some CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Um, now there's a couple ways I could do this, and um, I did it by adding this CSS into my current CSS folder. So I just went into my styles.css and uh, right below my footer where I um, have added the CSS for my footer, I just went in here and pasted in this CSS for my slideshow. In fact, if I wanted to be, um, let's see. I'm really smart with this, so I'm clear on what this is for. I'm going to just put in a comment here and say this is for my custom responsive slideshow. Okay, so the CSS that I've added to my style.css is for my slideshow, and I've pasted it right above where my media queries start. Okay, now the other way to do it is you could add an additional um, CSS file that had only the CSS for the responsive slideshow. So either way, you could add an additional CSS and link it into the head of your um, HTML file. 
So very similar to how we did it for our, our responsive navigation right here. You could create another CSS. Or what I did is I just added it into here. So if we um, go to my style.css, notice it's just added. Okay, either way will work. And then I need to add my um, JavaScript uh, script that's actually going to power the uh, slideshow. So I'm going to copy this. This is number four in the list of instructions. And I need to go to my HTML. And um, we already have a script for the responsive navigation. So I'm going to add this one for my responsive slideshow. Okay, so make sure here I have added it right after the closing tag of the of the flex the flexible nav or responsive nav script. Okay, so um, just to reiterate, I wanted to I made sure that my new images are in my images folder. Okay, which they are. I have added the CSS into my styles.css. I have attached another JavaScript file, and I have also added the script to my um, HTML file. So let's go ahead and look at it, we'll see where we're at. So my images are in there, which is fantastic. Ah, notice they are. Um, fading in and out, which is exactly what I want wanted for my effect, right? And um, you can see that my media queries are, are working with my responsive slideshow. It is truly responsive, so it is sizing. Fantastic. So that's exactly the effect that I was going for. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Um, and this was how to add a jQuery responsive slideshow to your project.